What's going on friends? Logan Myers here for Cinefellas.com and tonight we're talking about 1989's Pet Cemetery, directed by Mary Lambert based off the Stephen King novel. We have Lewis Creed played by Dale Midkiff. Him and his family moved to the small town in Maine. He's a doctor. Um, they're from Chicago so it's a smaller and <clears throat> quieter lifestyle in Maine. Um, across the road, they have their, their neighbor. We have Judd Crandall, their neighbor across the street, played by the late, great Fred Gwynn, you know, Herman Munster. Um, and he warns Lewis about this road that they live off of. Um, early on in the movie, we see these semis going down this road at like 80 miles per hour, and it's like a country road. They have, you know, animals and kids. And Judd Crandall warns them, you know, that a lot of animals, dogs and cats, don't make it off the road alive which opens up the rest of the film. The second act of the film, Lewis is talking to Judd and talking about this pet cemetery where they take dead animals off the road, this evil road, and they take it to the cemetery and basically you can bring these animals back to life. And behind that is an Indian burial ground. So, so besides the animals, you know, there's some darker entities in this area. So I was saying, you know, in this movie, this, this road they live off of and all these semis and trucks, well, there's an incident with their young child, Gage, and as you can imagine, it's a very intense and traumatizing scene for, you know, a family. And, and you know, with, with their son being dead and, and the wife being traumatized and the rest of the family, Lewis is trying to, to think of the best alternative to bring his son back. And, huh, he just came across a pet cemetery earlier on in the film and brought their, their cat back to life. So maybe we can do this on the kid. The rest of the film, there's some really great sequences. Um, you know, this is not like a jump scare film, but it, it, it's a scary film. The way that things are shot and the use of lights and, and shadows and things like that, um, it makes this movie eerie. And just the overall premise, too, of being a pet cemetery and these animals and, you know, bringing them back to life, you know, it's, it's a different and unique premise that Mary Lambert did a great job directing. All I'm going to say is the most horrifying part of this entire film um, you know, when I saw this in 1989, when I was four years old, um, that stuck with me until now, 2017, is Zelda. Ugh, Zelda. All, all I'll say is that. So if you haven't seen it, wait until you see Zelda. You know, overall, the cast is pretty solid in this movie. Um, Denise Crosby was great. And honestly, the, the stand-up performance is Fred Gwynn playing Judd Crandall and being knowledgeable and, you know, showing the family this pet cemetery and what it holds. And with Judge showing them the cemetery and proving that there could be more than just death in life. You can have rebirth and can come back even though you are, you know, dead. Mary Lambert did a great job directing this film. She went on to direct the sequel, Pet Cemetery 2, which was god-awful and had Edward Furlong in it. I don't advise you to see that, but see, definitely see the first film. Another great performance is Miko Hughes playing uh, Gage, the young, possessed little zombie kid. Uh, he was creepy as hell, you know, just being a, a really little, like, two, three-year-old. He did an excellent job in this film, and, and probably one of the better child stars of the horror genre. Overall, I really love Pet Cemetery. I saw it in the drive-in theater in 1989 uh, when I was a young kid, so it definitely stuck with me, you know, through all these years. And it's a really scary movie, um, scary in a different way, but a way that I think you guys will enjoy if you've not seen it. So I'm going to give Pet Cemetery a four and a half out of five. Hey, uh, pieces. So what do you guys think? What's your favorite Stephen King adaptation on the big screen? But let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe. This is Logan Myers signing out for the Pet Cemetery. <laughs> They're everywhere. Until next time. Cheese!